What is good YouTube? It's your boy, OG Namboy, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing Lucario in a team of Victini, Shadow Drapion as a safe swap, and the Lucario as a closer. So I've been seeing the Lucario pick pretty frequently, and I usually see it in the lead. And a couple of other content creators have made videos of Lucario lead with close combat, but I think that Lucario actually functions better in the back with the standard moveset of Power Up Punch and Shadow Ball. And the reason for that is um, once shields are down, the Shadow Ball can one shot the Psychic types. And also, the most common safe swaps in this meta are um, the Dark Poison types or just like other straight up dark types like the Umbreon or the Mandibuzz. So, Lucario can kind of handle all those threats pretty well and come out of those matchups with a lot of energy to threaten the next Pokemon that comes in. So without further ado, let's get into these matches here. So first match we have the Victini into Metacham, which is a pretty positive lead for Victini. And they swap into their Drapion, so this is kind of the exact scenario that I was anticipating when I built this team. And they're going to um, get the crunches off on us, but we're going to have to shield one since two would KO. So this is still fine for us though, since we have the Shadow Ball and we're likely going to get the shield back against the Metacham, which I'm anticipating is going to come in after. So um, especially since the move is boosted, like it would probably almost one shot or one shot the Metacham. And here I make a pretty silly play and I go for the power up punch and thankfully the opponent shields but that's really like there's no reason to bait there because I only get to one move so if the opponent had shielded then we would have been pretty screwed but they have an Umbreon in the back and now we're in a pretty rough position since um, the Umbreon it actually has a pretty good matchup against our Shadow Drapion here and we're going to be able to spam our moves off faster, but as you can see here, the Umbreon is so tanky that it's not really taking that much damage from the Aqua Tails, and one of these last resorts here is going to do just about half our health, so another one is going to take us out. So I probably should have just thrown my Aqua Tail right away, but since I did have that energy, I decided to shield that, and I know I'm going to get these two Aqua Tails off. But we're in a pretty rough position here because even if we let our Drapion go down, then our Victini in the back has quite a bit of work to do. So they bring the Medicham back in and the Medicham is still pretty healthy. So our Victini, um, not knowing the secondary move of Overheat, is going to kind of struggle here if they decide to let this V create through. So I'm going to have to get to another like back to back before I throw my next one to even have a shot of winning this so i'm gonna hit the back to back and ideally actually i think the opponent shields this because then i can build up a little bit of extra energy and then um throw on the umbreon but i don't farm any extra and then i'm not able to reach another move i don't even know if i could have reached another move before they got to an ice punch but yeah, pretty rough position to be in there, and we end up losing that pretty close match, but the GG's to the opponent. Next match, we have the Tyranitar into Victini, and this is a bad matchup for Victini, so we swap into our Tyranitar. So Tyranitar um, does pretty well against the Drapion here, as you can see. So we're going to... Um, go into our Drapion here. So Drapion actually does well against the Wobbuffet, as you can see, since we're going to be able to do super effective damage with the Crunch. And we're actually going to be able to barely get to this Aqua Tail here. So they have to shield if they want to maintain switch. And since they're already shield down, they actually let this go. So this works out perfectly for us since we're going to be able to align our Lucario to the um, Tyranitar here and I'm going to shield this just because the Tyranitar is pretty attack weighted and we're also very glassy so 
now they bring the mandibuzz in and if you're the opposing mandibuzz you do not want to play it this way where you throw your foul play right away you kind of want to wait for the victini to throw a move first so if the victini throws a v create and debuffs themselves then one of your foul plays is going to ko whereas now like you have to eat both these v creates and you like would have otherwise not had to do that so um we bring our lucario back in and we should be in a pretty solid position like we can probably survive an aerial ace if they do throw it and between our neutral counters and our power up punches we should be able to take out this mana buzz here so yeah that's basically ggs since you know the lucario is going to be able to farm down the tyranitar here so gg to that opponent next match here we have victini into lucario and this is a positive lead for us since a Vicree is going to just about one shot the lucario and the opponent makes a pretty lucky catch there since it's not like i built up to back to back or anything so they kind of just you know freestyled it and guessed when i was going to throw and they guessed right so i built up the two just to have those ready for the lucario once it comes back in and i'm gonna swap into my drapion here so drapion once again doing super effective damage to the wobbuffet and we should be able to maintain swap so um i mean the opponent could maintain switch here if they invest both shields but they're gonna go ahead and let it go so now they're gonna bring the lucario back in and they decide to throw their move right away which actually works out pretty well for me so i'm gonna bring the victini in and i'm gonna try to farm a little bit before i throw just in case they want to catch and they decide to shield so we can comfortably shield this even though it's probably just a power-up punch and um they swap out into gothitelle so now this gets a little bit sticky but we should be okay since we can get to a move on our lucario and threaten the shield and that was actually another instance where i did a pretty bad bait since like if we threw shadow ball then it would have probably done most of the gothitelle's health if not taking it out and then we would have had two v creates ready for the lucario in the back but if they don't shield or if they yeah don't shield our bait then we are left in a really rough position since we didn't get to a shadow ball on our lucario so it ended up working out for us since they did shield but um definitely not the optimal play there so next match we have obstagoon into victini and this isn't the greatest matchup for victini obviously since we are taking super effective from the night slashes but we're gonna go ahead and stay in here and play this out since Neither of our back two Pokemon do particularly well against the Obstagoon, so I kind of want to chip this thing before I leave into my Drapion, which I would use as the safe swap in this scenario, but they actually double shield, so I actually like this a lot because I can bring my Lucario in and start getting ahead on energy here. So they bring in a Wobbuffet, and I'm going to throw the Shadow Ball first before I dip out, but I honestly probably should have just dipped into my Drapion right away. And save the health on my Lucario. But now I'm going to be able to get quite a bit of an over farm on the Wobbuffet. So this crunch will almost take it out or take it out. And then I have an Aqua Tail ready for the Obstagoon here. I probably should have over farmed a little bit more on the Wobbuffet as well. So a lot of not optimal play from me in this video, but. Um, we're going to go ahead and farm them all the way down, but they swap out into their Rapidash and they quit out of the match. So GG to that opponent. And here we have our final match, the Victini into Sableye. So this is a pretty horrible lead for us. So we're going to swap into our Drapion and I'm going to go straight for the crunches to fish for the debuff. And if this lands and we get the debuff, then we should be able to go for Aqua Tails from here on out. So... I'm going to shield this just in case it's the return, but it ends up being a foul play. And I'm going to over farm a tiny bit before throwing our Aqua Tail here. And they shield this too, so I'm going to match shields again since 
if this is a return then it would take me out but i wasn't even counting so maybe they didn't have a return but i'm going to get this crunch off on the lolan raichu here and then i'm gonna stay in here and then swap into my victini um right when they get to a move so my drapeon is almost at a crunch so um if they take me out here i can just come back in and then do, like get a crunch off on them but they actually aren't able to ko us so we're gonna get a v create off and take them out with our victini which works out pretty nicely for us and then they bring in the gothitelle so i think i could have brought in my drapeon here but I end up bringing in my Lucario and I'm going to make sure they don't catch here because I know they're likely going to try. So I was going to throw on 10 counters so that they weren't able to and that ends up working out for us because they did try to catch and were able to take out the Gothic Tell there. So GG's there. Overall, really enjoyable team for me to play. I might double move my Victini just so that I can have the overheat in scenarios where I might need it, but I really do like the Lucario as a pick, as a closer, instead of in the lead, running close combat. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and also submit your battles in the link in the description below, and I'll see you in the next one.